Hello everyone, I'm back. Uh, this is a replication of uh, uh, one of Eric Dollard's, uh, I guess, first recorded, uh, one of his first recorded experiments uh, using the analog test the coil um, configuration uh, where you're transmitting through the dielectric instead of the electromagnetic. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, Eric Dollard was using an amplifier, but uh, I'm just using a signal generator. And um, it, it really kind of messes with the output when I read the, the output, but, uh, you know, I'll show you that anyway. But uh, uh, just keep in mind that it really, you'll, you'll see it when it happens, but it really dims the lights when you put the uh, put the scope on it and the frequency was really sensitive depending on uh, the load it'll uh, it'll you know have a harmonic whatever it is but you gotta find it uh, so okay right now we've got 7.8 volts RMS uh, square wave going in 20 volts peak to peak just gonna unplug the. Um, and we got uh, 20 volts peak to peak, 561 kilohertz. Uh, okay. Uh, here I actually measured. Um, uh, what is it? actually measured something like uh, 555 kilohertz or something. So that's the actual frequency measured. And uh, you can see these landmarks where the lines fall. So it's a little bit less than uh, what you're seeing on the screen. Uh, okay, so we got the, all the lights lit up. And uh, as you might know, you know, uh, seven volts RMS with a square wave, uh, it'll, you know, not light any of those. <laughs> I'll show you that right now. So we'll take this off, put it up front, take that off, put it up front. We've got no light. So, we can move down the line. Oh, we got something. Move it a little further. Came alive. Keep going, and uh, just kind of follows the trend. So I'll skip to the end here. Okay, so we've got uh, all these lights lit up, and. Uh, so we got this kind of odd stepping up effect through the one-to-one uh, -one shunted coils. <laughs> uh, something, something odd happened between here and there. Okay, and uh, so now I'll take the uh, scope. Okay, so now just keep in mind that uh, watch the light. It glitches my scope and it dims the light. So I say it dims it by at least 5 volts. Anyway, we'll read it as it is. 
got 27.2 volts RMS. Um, eighty volts peak to peak. Where before we have twenty volts peak to peak. Uh, but peak to peak are uh, with uh, are en ending up being RMS, which is actually 27.2 volts real power, uh, well, real voltage across the load. Uh, but keep in mind that when I connected fully across, the lights got dimmer. So we're actually reading the uh, dim reading. Um, so that's why I'm not going to complete the entire, you know, power out and power in measurement because I, I can't measure the output properly. It dims it by uh, grabbing across it. So, <coughs> uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, Eric Dollard was saying that um, <coughs> it's an accelerating wave and uh, he measured the basically if you take the uh, these four components the two coils and the two caps that's one phase two phases three phases four phases and uh, this is an analog of the Tesla coil um, and uh, the easiest way to produce a longitudinal magnetodielectric wave as opposed to the standard uh